So about 25 years ago when I lived in London, I was working as a furniture fitter and all, the, all of us were using uh, battery powered Makita drills. Since then I've pretty much stayed on the Makita platform and today I've probably got over 10 different tools that take uh, the 18 volt battery. And Makita is one of the best brands you can buy, but they're also expensive. And if you're like me, if you, I'm a handyman and I'm doing woodwork and I require a lot of tools, sometimes you don't want to spend a lot of money on tools. Uh, when it comes to certain tools, like, so for instance, the drill, which is probably my, my main tool that I use, I'm happy to spend a lot of money because I know I'm going to use it. But sometimes you might need a tool, you're not sure how much you're going to use it, so therefore, do you really want to spend a lot of money on it? Uh, fortunately, the Chinese now make a lot of knockoffs of the Makitas. You can get them on eBay, Amazon, and I've been using it, I've been using some of them for a while now, and I was quite surprised at the quality for the price. So they still all work, and I'm going to show you what they are. So the first one would be my palm router. And this is a good example because before this I had a Bosch palm router, which I loved, but it packed up. So at the time I didn't have a lot of money. So I ended up buying this cheapie uh, from eBay, I think. And I've had it years and it still works. It's a copy of a Makita. And if you can get this particular one, I would. I think the price for this now is about £45 versus the Makita version, which is £120. So about a third of the price. Um, I've actually got another Makita here, the cordless one. I'll show you something. So you can see they're all very similar. Um, yeah, there's a lot of similarities. It's based on the Makita. Now, tool number two is this little thing, and this is about £20 on Amazon and I think the Makita version is about 65 so what it is is it's a blower and a vacuum if you can believe that um, yeah I can't imagine using it as a vacuum but you get a bag with it and you can suck things up and but I use it predominantly as a blower um, if you work in a dusty workshop like me you'll know that you get a lot of dust on the on your benches and stuff and yeah it's just very handy to clean things off in between breaks and yeah, it's, it's really good, eh? it works well, and it works on the 18 volt system again, so it's a good little tool, I love it, and I'd buy another one. My third tool is the multi-tool, or oscillating multi-tool. I have an Erbauer, a cabled Erbauer, before this, and the Erbauer, I use these tools, I use this particular tool for two jobs. And one of them is to cut the jams around doors for when I'm doing laminate flooring. But the other one is when I'm, I work in commercial spaces, retail spaces, and I find when I'm doing bathrooms, if I've got to take a cistern off the wall of a toilet, you get screws holding that onto the wall. Nine times out of ten, they're rusty, and I've got to cut them off. And if I use the corded Erbauer, obviously there's no plugs inside the bathroom, so I've got to have it running out into the shop with customers out there, you know, it becomes a trip hazard with health and safety. What it is, I just, uh, it was just a hassle. And the other thing is, you know, carrying a cable or an extension cable is just a, another added thing you've got to carry. So I thought I'll give me a cheap one of these. And I looked at the reviews. There's good reviews for these actually. But yeah, it comes in handy. I chuck it in my bag with my tools and I love it. I looked on Amazon. You can get this for about £40. And it comes with a couple of blades, metal wood cutting blades. You get a an attachment that takes uh, sandpaper, so the pointy the pointy attachment is on Velcro sandpaper, and you can get into those corners. Now, the other thing I like about this tool is that the Erbauer has got an Allen key. Now, that's fine. It just takes a little bit longer to change the blades, but sometimes I would lose that Allen key, and that was a bit of a hassle. This one has a quick release. So you can see here, you just push that up, he pops out, change the blade, put another one in, lock it down. Um, I, I like that feature actually. And yeah, I don't use the Urbauer anymore. I use this all the time. I'm a big fan of this little tool. 
All right, I want to talk about the batteries. Now, you know, I've, I've built up quite a range of these Makita battery operated tools, and I only had four batteries, so from my two drills. And I was starting to get to the point where I, where I needed to use more battery, well, I needed more batteries. Um, so I thought, well, if the Chinese can make good tools, maybe they can make good batteries. So I ended up buying the Chinese version of the Makita batteries last year. I got one left out of four. Three of them just didn't want to charge. There was a fault with them. Um, so I do not recommend them. Also, the plastic on these is very thin. You might think that's not a problem, but I've dropped my tools many a time. And I must have dropped this one too because it's got a big old crack. And yeah, so not that great. I've decided that I would just stay with Makita batteries now because they lost ages. And what I did settle on was Screwfix was having a special. So you could get a drill, a carry case, a charger, and two 5 amp hour batteries um, for, I think it was 129 pounds. So that was, oh, well, there we go, March last year. So I bought two drills, I got four batteries, and I even bought one for my neighbor. So I'm looking at some other cheap Makita products from China. Uh, if they're any good, I'll make another video about it. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And if you liked it, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.